So I want more flowers, more cut flowers. Uh, and I don't really want to dig uh, a bunch of grass today. So let me show you my no dig cut flower flower bed. So part one today, basically it's going to be about lining up the edges of the flower bed. Uh, I have this idea and hopefully I can explain it to you through this video. So I am going to start by saying that this will be my first no dig flower bed. Charles is down in, he's basically uh, the one that I feel that everybody knows him for that. Uh, I don't believe that he, he started the no digging. I believe that the, the no digging method has been has been um, among us for a while. We just probably didn't know uh, what to call it before, but basically uh, it, it involves no digging and I am all up for that. So today I'm just going to etch the flower beds. I am going to apply layers of newspaper or cardboard or um, anything else that I have around that it will naturally decompose. Uh, basically to block the weeds, the grass. As you can see, I have uh, plenty of grass that I actually planted last year, but all of this needs to go because I have this perfectly uh, nice area that it gets sun most of the day. Uh, and I think it's going to look great. Uh, it's a little bit windy today and we're supposed to have rain. So I am going to try to do this um, as quick as possible and when I am done putting the layer of cardboard and newspaper I am basically going to add a layer of compost and mulch and uh, I am not going to wet the paper right now or the newspaper because we are supposed to get a lot of rain and if we do not get any rain today or overnight then I'll come back tomorrow and do that part so let's get so I started by lining up the old hose water hose that I have here to sort of guide me around where the flower bed needs to be but if I'm a little bit off that's okay because I can always come back later and finish up So I am halfway through. It's not as easy as it seems, especially when you're fighting a really windy day. Um, like I mentioned, we're supposed to have storms any time now, and it just got a lot darker than it was. Um, so I'm going to keep on going. And the next step will be to add an, uh, a layer of mulch. Uh, I just wanna maybe cover the whole thing first with uh, compost. And I'm going very thin on the compost because um, I'm, I, it's just flowers that I have here. It's not going to be anything that I'm going to eat. So as long as I give something to the ground for the flowers, it should be fine. So 
so the moment that I got done putting a layer of compost, the mother of all thunderstorms showed up. It was quick and thick and it was enough so that uh, my cardboard and the newspaper and everything that I have there could get wet. So in reality, it saved me a lot of um, time. And right now, the sun is peeking through and um, I have the mulch ready. So I'm just going to apply that on top, finish it up, and then I'll show you when I'm done. So I underestimated the amount of mulch that was going to need. I think I'm just going to go and grab one or two more bags of mulch and finish this project. But basically I am, I'm done. I am really glad that the rain came when it did because it saved me the watering part. If you have been following uh, my channel for a while, you know that I started a bunch of annual flowers from seed. They are actually growing inside. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this new cut flower bed, no dig cut flower bed for all of my annuals. The idea is that everything that I grow will come over here and hopefully will give me like a great looking flower bed. Um, I do have other flower beds around, but they are full with shrubs and perennials and I have very, very minimal space for adding a bunch of annual flowers. So hopefully the compost that I added adds nutrition to the soil and it gives me beautiful blooms. We will see in July or August. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, do you guys have any plans for adding new flower beds to your garden? Let me know. Until the next video.